Hello and welcome to Code About YouTube channel. Myself Rahul uh, Today we are going to see how we can execute our robot driven test cases using Docker images. Okay, so usually if you create a, a robot framework, you may have to install a lot of dependencies or libraries for executing these uh, test cases. For this consider you have created some test cases in your machine and you want to run it in other machine. Right. So what you do in the other machine also you have to uh, install the robot framework and other dependencies and you will have to import all the libraries. Right. So instead of uh, doing all this complicated task, what you can do is you can use Docker containers. Right. So this uh, Docker container or Docker images are nothing but these images are pre-built images which is having all the dependencies on libraries which is required to execute your robot framework in this case. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can use a rebuild uh, Docker image for executing your uh, robot framework test case. Right? So before going to that, let me create a very similar test case. For that, I have already created a folder. Uh, this is a folder, so robot framework uh, uh, underscore Docker. And uh, let me do one thing, let me create two folders here. Maybe tests. And uh, maybe reports. You can give anything. Okay, it's based on uh, your. You can give anything. And uh, let me use Catalan to record a very simple test case using this uh, Facebook login page. I'm just going to enter some details and clicking on this login button. Okay, so that's it. So let me record. Let me enter some value. Okay, I'm just entering this value. Password. I'm going to give. Maybe some more password and clicking on login button. Okay, so that's it. That is my case. Now stop. <coughs> okay, so here you can see uh, it is opening up our framework platform and it is entering uh, the email ID and the password, some password, and it need to click on the submit button. Right, so I'm just selecting uh, main to the login as the admin. And now what I'm going to do is I need to uh, export this to proper friend. Uh, this is just for a demo. Okay, I'm using catalog. I'm just recording and I'm going to export this to uh, robot frame. If you already have uh, a test case which is of uh, this particular type uh, or robot frame, you can use that for executing using Docker. Okay, so this is my test case and I want to export to um, robot frame. Right, so let me click on export. Now it will get download. Okay, so let me go here. Let me export this. Okay, so this is the test case. Let me copy and uh, let me put it inside this. Okay, uh, let me do one thing. Let me try to execute this CMD and uh, robot test. So, this is the normal method of executing our test case. So let me see how it is going to work. Okay, so passing test fail file or directory it is in this for the reason. Uh, okay, so let me check again. Oh okay, it is already inside of our test suite. So there's a problem. So I need to go back. Okay, now we execute it will work fine. Okay, here we can see it is starting the execution. Yeah, it is opening up the Facebook. And it is entering the details that I have covered and just clicking on submit button. Okay, so this case is false. So in my machine, I already installed the robot framework. That's why I will be able to like a robot and test. Right? So this kind of in another machine, if you don't have a robot framework already installed and you don't have the confirmation, and if you still want to go with the uh, execution, what you can do is just install Docker in your machine. So in my Windows, I'm going to start Docker using our Docker Master. Okay, so this is applicable even if you are going to run it in your case also. You can use this Docker image for executing in your uh, uh, Kubernetes as a service also. You can use the same. Uh, maybe I will create a new uh, video, separate video, explaining how you can execute uh, this robot framework uh, uh, using Docker images in a Kubernetes as a service. Okay, so today we will see how you can use uh, existing Docker images for executing your uh, test cases. Okay, so starting the uh, uh, engine. Okay, so now engine is running. 
So if the Docker desktop will just give you the uh, Docker environment in your uh, Windows machine, okay? So that's it. Uh, so now what are things we did? We have uh, created a new test case, a Docker new test case, and I copied that to the phone and I started the Docker desktop as well. Uh, now what we are going to do is there is a documentation already provided by our uh, framework to uh, explaining all these steps like how you can execute. And here you can see they have created a very simple test case and uh, they created two folders and they are providing uh, the permission to get permission and they are executing the test case using this particular image. Okay. So this is the Docker image they are using. So this Docker image involves all the dependencies and libraries which is required for executing your Docker framework test case. Okay, so uh, here what I'm going to do is instead of a PWT, just uh, update with the path. Okay, I'm just updating this uh, path here. Okay, so let me get the path. Okay, give me the test. Okay, then here also this should be a reports, right? So we do nothing. Okay, so let's replace this and uh, instead of this we have to use a reports, right? Okay, so I will tell you how it is going. So uh, we are going to use Docker uh, command. So Docker run means it is going to execute the container. And what are the arguments that we are going to pass? We are going to pass uh, this variable test variable as well as uh, uh, I am passing uh, one more variable called the reports as well. And I am just using this image. So this is a predefined image which is having all the arguments. So let me copy this and try to execute. Okay, so now I'm in the folder. Okay, let's run it. Okay, we'll see that it is uh, working on. Here, what you can do is like you can export the path and you don't need to uh, provide this entire path. Okay, so instead of this, you can uh, just set the password and uh, you can just run it. And uh, here you can see our test case got executed using the Docker. Right? And uh, it has used this particular image for executing the test case. So, just consider if your machine do not have a, a, a robot framework, but Docker is available in this, you can just use this Docker image for executing your test cases. You don't need to specifically install any of the Docker uh, robot versions or libraries in your machine for the execution. Okay, I hope you are clear. I'll be sharing the link of this particular document also in the description you can have for this. And in the coming videos, I will show you how you can execute these uh, Docker images in Kubernetes as well for executing your robot framework test cases. Okay, so if you find this video useful, please like the video, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.